time to clear this up. The recently identified Omicron subvariant is not officially called Centaurus. It's just a nickname that was apparently coined by a Twitter user who just randomly decided to name it after a faraway galaxy. Now its official name is BA2.75 and it's an offspring of BA2, the subvariant that was responsible for triggering outbreaks in the US and Hong Kong earlier this year. What we know is that PA2.75 has at least nine new mutations to its spike protein. One of the mutations might help it to escape immunity from vaccines. Another seems to increase its ability to attach to human cells. But while the subvariant is spreading quickly, scientists say it's still too early to tell if it's more transmissible or severe. Based on data that's coming out of India, which is seeing more cases of VA2.75, there's no evidence of significantly increased transmissibility or death. VA2.75 was first detected in India in May. Since then, it's spread to at least 10 countries in Europe, North America, Australia, and Asia. Singapore reported its first two imported cases of the subvariant on July 14th. Both had recently traveled to India and self-isolated after testing positive for COVID-19. They've since recovered. There is a concern that the large number of mutations could help the new subvariant infect more people. That's because current vaccines and boosters are based on the original strain that emerged nearly three years ago. Experts point out that we saw other Omicron subvariants such as BA4 and BA5 escape some immunity and become more infectious but without causing severe disease. They also say that vaccines still offer strong protection against severe COVID-19 and death. 